Hi there, I'm Jeannie and welcome to Cakes and Aprons. Today I'm in my parents' kitchen. I'm on holiday vacation visiting them and I am wearing a beautiful apron that I know was from either the 1950s or early 1960s. I know this because of the cut of the pocket and the cut of the front with the gathering. It is a beautiful grape motif apron which goes perfectly with my pink champagne. Today we are going to be baking with pink champagne when we make this lovely celebratory cake for New Year's, the pink champagne cake. This cake was first featured in the Los Angeles Times in 1960, and it had such rave reviews from its readers. So come on with me, get some pink champagne, and travel to 1960 to make this celebratory cake. Nothing says celebration quite like the sound of a cork popping from a champagne bottle. This classic and sparkling delicacy makes an appearance at toasts, at weddings, and graduation ceremonies, and it is the quintessential drink of choice at any significant gathering. However, champagne had a golden age during the 1950s and early 1960s. Hollywood produced many movies at that time that showcased champagne. Many stars in the tabloids were said to be drinking champagne at all the big galas. It was even reported that Natalie Wood, seen here on the left, would take champagne baths. Now, there were many cocktails during this time that included champagne, including the champagne cocktail from 1960 that included cognac, bitters, a sugar cube, and a twist of lemon. And here is a picture from Vogue magazine in 1963 with their satirical remark on women's fad diets, proposing the champagne diet. Although a lark and a joke on dieting, this humorous article may make you thirsty for champagne with the three tear-shaped diamonds dripping from a faucet. But what the diet's author was suggesting is that champagne does have a certain je ne sais quoi and positive effect for the figure and disposition and this is one diet that you will not have to fight to stay on because it promises joy and bubbles with each of your three meals a day. In the 1950s and 60s, many cake recipes included soda. The carbon dioxide bubbles in soda pop act as a leavening agent, making goods rise and making them light and fluffy. Therefore, while bakers in the South were making cakes from 7-Up and Coca-Cola, the West was making pink champagne cakes. There were bakeries in California and Oregon that were known for their pink champagne cakes. Which brings us to our recipe, which we will be making while listening to pink champagne music for dancing. I will put a link to the recipe below. It is from a site called My Cake School, and they take the original cake recipe from the LA Times and just alter it a bit. So what you first do is take three cups of cake flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And you whisk together the, these dry ingredients and set aside. In another bowl, you combine the egg whites, champagne, vanilla, and vegetable oil, and you whisk until blended and set this aside. You can see that the pink champagne is so bubbly that you have to do it in stages so that your champagne will not bubble out of your measuring cup. In the bowl of your mixer, you cream the butter and sugar for about three to five minutes. Now, my mother, while I was at her house, told me this is very important, and I could tell the consistency at the end was very different. It was extremely blended and smooth. So when it is light and fluffy, you add approximately a third of the dry ingredients and mix until blended. Then add a half of the liquid ingredients, mixing until blended and you continue alternating the dry and the wet ingredients and you begin and end with the dry ingredient. Add the pink food coloring at any time during the mixing. I did it at the very end and you can see that it makes a large fluffy batter for three cake pans. 
You will bake these for 25 to 30 minutes on the center rack of an oven for, that is set for 350 degrees. Now it's time to try the cake batter and wash your dishes. Then of course you grab your first glass of champagne if you're doing the champagne diet and dance around in your kitchen to some good old pink champagne music. Next, you can make the pink champagne buttercream frosting while your cakes are still in the oven. I cream together the softened butter and smooth into a lightened color. Then you add in the salt and vanilla. Gradually, you add the powdered sugar. There's a lot of powdered sugar. It calls for 12 cups. I actually only used 11 because I wanted my frosting to be very smooth and fluffy. So anyways, you gradually add the powdered sugar with the champagne until the powdered sugar is incorporated. Beat at a medium speed for three to four minutes and the texture will become very smooth. If you are tinting the entire batch of buttercream a pink color like I did, use a small amount of coloring gel while it is mixing. As you can see, this frosting is very light and fluffy and it was very easy to frost the cake. I made rosettes around the edges and then there were rosettes that were made on the top and I used gold pearl sprinkles in every center of the top rosettes. Next, it was time to go into my mother's dining room and set her beautiful table. Now, since I was holidaying at my parents' house, I knew that I would have family members popping in and out of the house, as well as old friends coming by. So I decided to put on a 1950s cocktail party hat and a cocktail dress and wait for friends and family members to come to the door. It wasn't long before we were getting together. And now this is my favorite time. This is where we get to try the cake. So here is our 1960s pink champagne cake and we have champagne to toast for our New Year's. I have invited my friends and my family here to join me tonight. So, oh, we're, <laughs> there you go, Forrest. Thank you, Lauren. Cheers. cheers. Happy New Year. Cheers. 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 Happy New Year. Napkins on the lap, the family awaits service. I think I really like pink champagne. Okay, so now we get to try this cake with a buttercream frosting. This is a really big piece. So <laughs> who, wants, who wants a really big piece oh of David? God, yes. Mm, this is look at all those layers. It's so beautiful. And the champagne is in the cake. And it is in the frosting, too, mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. All right, we are ready to try the cake. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I know, it's really mm -hmm. beautiful. Pleasant, unemotional conversation helps digestion. It's really light and fluffy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's decadent. Mm. 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 There is no family so busy, but that it can come together in the evening for a dinner date, which will give its members something to look back upon with happiness all their days. Very pink. It mm. is very pink. It's wonderful. I just want to eat more. Mm. <laughs> That's good. It's like eating a flower. It's so delicious. <laughs> it's like eating champagne. Right. It's champagne in cake form. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Solid champagne. I love cake champagne. Yeah. And the champagne in it is what makes it so fluffy. Mm. Oh my gosh. So it's good. The bubbles make it fluffy. Bubbles it makes so much sense. So do we say four thumbs up then for this cake? For New yeah. Year's celebration? Yeah. All right, toe, four toe thumbs, thumbs up. thumbs and hand thumbs. We're gonna That's good. Pour the champagne on the cake. <laughs> oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. Four thumbs each, not four thumbs per person. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was going to give that you my toes, be, too. That oh, that would be cool. Mm. Four thumbs and extra toes. That's how good it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming with Cheers. us today to Cakes and Aprons, and we'll see you next time. 
Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year.